100 hit, 2v2, uh, what is the map? Desert Showdown. Blue team is Space Marines, we have Metamorph as the Apothecary. Support Commander can heal, fights in melee by default. Alongside him is Velzevault as the Tech Marine. Defensive Commander, he's described as, though he does pretty nice damage, can deploy turrets. Red side we have Tyranids. Prodenton as the Hive Tyrant. Big, stompy, monstrous commander. Cannot be suppressed and can bash through cover. Also have Silver Wolf as the Ravener Alpha. Very, very mobile, fights in range by default. Can make tunnels for himself and his allies to use. You can see one of the tunnels there. Tactical Marines out for both Space Marine players. Ranged Heavy Infantry. Quite similar colour schemes, I hope I don't get confused. Apothecary up against two Termagant Broods and a Hormogaunt Brood. The opening for both Tyranny players, he's going to find that tough going. And the Apothecary is forced off immediately. Termagant's light ranged infantry, Hormogaunt's light heavy infantry. Light melee infantry, sorry. They are forced off though, a bit overextended. Apothecary has a passive regeneration aura, which you can see at the feet of these units. Meanwhile, on the east side, Raven Alpha forces off these marines. One VP here is blue. The Tyranid infestation has red, one of our strategic and points. one in the center, which is red now. Apothecary trying to decap, he's going to get set up on by a load of Hormogons though. Chainsword and bolt by default, he's not very effective in combat. Not the biggest fan of map, we have these weird wreck points north and south sides that are only good for ninja capping and ninja decapping really also the bases are too close to the VPs look at that you could park an artillery unit in your base and easily hit the VP it's the same on both sides but at least it's consistent Hive Tyrant forced off Devastator Marines on the field for Metamorph. He has retained his VP for now. Here comes some tactical marines though, they could take it. They won't be too bothered by double turn against. Turret going up from Belzeville. Pretty spiteful right in front of this natural power for Silver Wolf. Tech Marine almost going down here, needs to be very careful. Hormogons hitting this turret in melee. Velzival should be retargeting the Raven Alpha, doesn't do it quite in time, and the Tech Marine goes down. That's a bad engagement for him, losing the turret and his commander. That's a long way for the Apothecary to come to revive. Though he could use his special ability, Laraman's Blessing, I suppose. Spore mines on the field for Pronton, getting into the retreat path. Nope, looks like they're going to join the fight. No, they are staying in the retreat path. And they have a chance to get a hit off on these tactical marines. But leave it a bit late, one member does go down in the end. Apothecary also forced off. Devastator should cover his retreat. One VP and no others are cat scouts getting this one. Another turret going down for Velzeville. Tactical Marines down to half health, need to be careful. Here come some spore mines. Turret trying to take them out and does. Tyranids forced off en masse 
because of these very durable assault space marines great synergy with the apothecary since he can heal them they are disruptive troops jump and fight in melee Ravenna Alpha tunnel down here at these two natural blue wreck points as you can see so we can go and very annoyingly decap them this turret causing a lot more problems this time for Silver Wolf trying to take out the tech marine so he can't repair it Hormagod squad goes down Silver Wolf only has a single Termagant brood left down to three members should be able to force off the tech marine here meanwhile west side Tyrion is running away which we've seen a lot in this game Salt Marines will be able to cap giving a triple cap to the blues Tech Marine is forced off but this turret is still here Ravenna is being called in by the Ravenna Alpha they can melee the turret down Tectal Marines trying to take out models which would be very very expensive reinforcement for Silver Wolf. It looks like the turret will go down. Huge push here by Fronton using his 5 Tyrant with improved Synapse and Warp Field to get close to these Devastators tying them up in melee they cannot fire now. Here comes some Hormagons to help out. Do they have their adrenal glands? They do. So they'll be pretty nasty if they catch them. Are these warriors being called down by Pronton? I assume so, and they are. Also reinforcing nearby Tyranids, fantastic use of the ability. Flamer Tactical Marines need to be very, very careful. These warriors could get adrenal glands and give melee synapse to these Hormagons. Pronton can now hit Metamorph's power. Here comes some Devastators though. So close to his base, look at that. Five Tyrants Warpfield holding steady. Disables it so he can regenerate some of his health. Improved Synapse, so underrated as a war gear in my opinion. 25% more health for non-Synapse creatures. Ravenous making short work of these gens. They have their devourer giving them a ranged weapon. Tier 2 for red team. No sign of tier 2 for blue. Metamorph could go. And he does. Salt Marines jumping these Ravenous, but there's a lot of Tyranids here. Losing the Salt Marines is so expensive and one does go down in retreat Devastators Ravenna's burrow but they're very 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 vulnerable get away with three members pretty lucky Adrenal Gland Warriors gives them melee heavy damage type so they will damage everything also melee synapse to these Hormagaunts these assault marines are taking tons of damage warriors need to be careful though and down goes one there's a synaptic shock knocking back all of those Hormagaunts huge engagement here apothecary is going to go down devastators go down in retreat huge losses for blue Here come more assault marines. Do they have their sergeant? They don't. Has not hit tier 2 yet, that's why. Ravenna Alpha has his corrosive devourer and his synapse aura. Fantastic war gear for the Ravenna Alpha. Laraman's blessing reviving the apothecary. Another turret goes down for the Tech Marine, that's the third. We'll be taken out by Ravenous here. 
don't think the Tech Marine can save it. Maybe he can. Use his bionics to knock them out of the way. Taking out a member, in fact. Now trying to repair it. Raveners instead melee. And they do take it down. Formagaunt's getting way too close to the Apothecary's base. Managed to get away with two members. Two to one cap for red team. Blues still have their natural. Salt Marines down to two members. These are Velzibles. He's going for a Dreadnought. No, cancels it. Metamorph is going for a Dreadnought though. Another turret going down. This is crazy. This is the fourth or fifth? We have the Tyrant Guard on the field for Pronton. Kind of the equivalent for Tyranids as a of a walker. Their line breaker unit as it were. Cannot be suppressed. Has super heavy infantry armor. Here's the Dreadnought though for Metamorph. This is a Space Marine Walker fights in melee by default. Crushing claws on the Hive Tarrant though, so it's being a bit cautious. Devastating melee weapon. Termagants managing to decap this power, that's very annoying. Venom Brood on the field. Double Termagants and ranged Raveners. Ranged Synapse boosting the damage of all of this stuff. Tactile Marines forced off. These Assault Marines jump defensively. This other turret is up. Adding support structure. We have Venom Brood on the field also for Pronton. Huge army for both the red players. Belzebul goes straight to tier 3, I assume for a venerable Dreadnought. This Dreadnought is going to be in trouble. Crushing Claws, Tyrant Guard and Venom Brood. It's going to be lucky not to die, I think. Formagorn's jumped by the Assault Marines. Dreadnought already down to half health. Tries to stun, but cannot stun the Tyrant Guard. Scouts trying to repair. Looks like the Dreadnought will live to see another day. Belzebul is now tier 3. Has enough for a venerable. I imagine it will be cooled down as soon as he realises. There it is. Needs to be careful though. We do have Venom Brood and the Corrosive Devourer, which can damage vehicles. Here is the venerable Dreadnought. The best Dreadnought in the game pretty much, fights in melee, can charge also, cannot get a ranged weapon. Tech Marine is down here, Venom Brood will really hurt this Dreadnought from range. High of Tyrant coming over to help out, is he? No. Indecision from the Apothecary decides to send tech Tactical Marines to decap that point. Assault Marines ridiculously outnumbered here. Dreadnought has its Assault Cannon, even though it's not listed as an upgrade. As you can see, it does have it. Fantastic versus Infantry, but it's now being chased by the Hive Tyrant and Tyrant Guard, Tier 3 for both red players is very close 283 plays 233 how's the venerable doing he's doing alright assault marines jump and then retreat tactical marines just getting away with three members tech marine respawns another power bash red team in a pretty good position right now taking out this dreadnought would help though 
Ouch. Assault cannon's ability, devastating to low infantry. Assault marines jumping this group, they need to be very careful. Crushing claws and tyrant guard will make short work of them, especially in retreat. They get away with three members, pretty lucky to, since the hive tyrant did a special attack there. Two to zero cap for blues, they're holding on and forcing off all this stuff. Venerable down to 469 HP. Apothecary has his power axe completely kitted out here, armor of purity and purification rights. Another power bash, blues very very power starved here. Dreadnought's gonna go down, is it? Just gets away. Ben and Brood could take it out. Or oh, they might get taken out themselves, and they do. I think Pronton will want to replace those. Not sure why he overextended that. Seemed to get closer than he needed to. Understood. A path in bug, perhaps. Ravenna Alpha with his ranged blob of doom jumped by the assault marines plasma gun tacticals working on them also forces them off in no time Ben and Brood being targeted by the assault marines and they are also forced off Silver Wolf can decap now Dreadnought might be in trouble here. Hive Tyrant getting. Oh, does a special attack again when you didn't want him to. Looks like the Dreadnought is going to go down here. One more hit. There it goes. Not sure why Metamorph overextended it so much, knowing Pronton's army composition. Adrenal Gland Warriors in there. And this is for retreat from. Metamorph. Did manage to cap the center VP though. Red team need to start capping these VPs 269 to 89, 2 to 0 cap. Blue team holding on very well with fewer units as you'd expect from Space Marines, but still, I'd have thought the red teams could push with the army compositions they have. Tactical Marines forced off, now force off the Assault Marines. We have a tier 3 Lictor on the field for Silver Wolf. And now Cat. Venerable Dreadnought keeping its distance, being repaired by the Tech Marine. Bells of all, floating tons of resources, must be saving for a Land Raider. Red team now have a 2 0 Cat. Half Tyrant in melee with stuff, but he's losing tons of health. Needs to retreat. Just gets away. Here we have a Swarm Lord on the field for Pronton. Metamorph is in huge amounts of trouble here. Apothecary might even go down and retreat. Swarm Lord is so quick. One more hit would do it, and there he goes. Huge blow on his west side for Metamorph. Was doing so well over here. Scouts forced off. Assault Marines want to get the hell out of there. Forcing off Silver Wolves for Morgaunts instead. Swarm Lord looks like he's gonna have fun in Metamorph's base. Not only killing stuff but keeping him pinned back. Metamorph doing the right thing and spreading his stuff away. This last cannon devastator is going down. Aramis Blessing gets the Apothecary up, manages to retreat through all this stuff. Raven Alpha went down on this side, missed it. I assume the Venerable Dreadnought was responsible. Terminator's on the field for Velzival. No Land Raider then. Heavy Flamer will be devastating to these Tyranids.
that's cleansing flame and all these tyrannids are forced off Silver Wolf needs something a bit more durable in the field I think a Carnifex for example but he needs a bit more requisition he needs a line breaker Thornback Carnifex would do great 2 to 1 cap for reds 2 11 plays 2 62 sorry Carnifex is on the way for Pronton nothing yet for Silver Wolf since he's having to reinforce all of that stuff Stormlord is still on the field taking out Metamorph's bases a Tyranna formation even went down here base turrets go down they can now try and destroy the base which is crazy to see in a 2v2 rank match Metamorph decides to cap. Carnifex is on the field. No upgrade yet. Tier 3 Lictor is capping this Eastern VP. Sends his range blob over to help out on this side. Gormagant's forced off very quickly. 192 plays 61. 1 to 1 cap. Loads of requisition floated by the blue team. They did get their power bashed repeatedly though and sure as sure only have a single point capped. Red team have no generators themselves though. Not that they need it floating so much power. Venerable Dreadnought goes down, Stoicism activated. This is such a nasty army composition for Pronton. Assault Terminators. Terminators, sorry, flee. Must have their teleport on cooldown. Now being chased by the Lictor. He smells blood. Not much the Tech Marine can do. Carnifex stomping away. No upgrade for it yet. One seven two plays fifty three. Terminators got away in the end. Tyrone formation on Belzebul's base didn't do. Ouch! Took out a Terminator, I think, and it was instantly reinforced. Those Terminators in big trouble against that blob. If it just stays out of range of that flamer, ouch! Clings in flame, almost destroying that entire blob of stuff. Swarmlord on the way for Silver Wolf now. Metamorph in dire straits on this side. That's a drop pod to reinforce all this stuff. Last cannon going off. Swarmlord starting to take damage now. Kind of effects forced off. So he's not doing too badly. Has two last cannons set up. Path Tyrant is forced off. Leech Essence there from the Swarm Lord healing it up a bit. 3 to 0 cap for reds, but they're down to 9 VPs. Blues have done so well despite repeated power bash. difficult when you have so much light infantry to not be requisition staffed at the end of the game which is what has happened to the red team the swarm is going to go down one more shot from the last cannon and that could be GG for red team blues just need to cap this and hold on Carnifex still no upgrade Assault Marines forcing off Hormagaunts, Apothecary decaps, Assault Marines cap here. Blues have lost their natural though. 
I'm sure the Terminators can scare off this Liptop before he can cap or even kill it. It will die in retreat. Swarm Lord now on the way in silver. I'm gonna try and stop these Terminators capping. Termagants to help. But it doesn't help in the end. 2 to 0 cap wins it for blues. 1 T3 VPs left. Very interesting game. Reds seem to have so much units on the field, but the durable Space Marines held out. Reds got very few squad wipes despite all the losses the Blues team took. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.